Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are now in for a real treat, and I have the pleasure of introducing Jillian Higgins, the founder of Horses Inside Out. Jillian, who's come here all the way from England, is an equine sports and remedial therapist, coach, as well as artist, and has written a number of books and DVDs and presents Horses Inside Out all over the world. Kindly sponsored by Cavalor Premium Feeds and Supplements and International Equestrian Education, Jillian will be presenting a number of talks and demos over the next few few days as well. But for now, I'd like to welcome Jillian Higgins to the International Arena. And there is one thing I would like to know, Jillian, why on earth have you painted a horse? Well, thank you, Peter. And I think that's a good question. It's all about improving performance reducing the risk of injury and education. The more we can understand about how horses work, the better we can ride, train and manage them. Over the next few days, I'll be doing a number of different demonstrations. But for now, have a look at this horse in the arena. This is Libby, a 10-year-old warm blood mare. She jumps one meter 50 and ridden by Danny, uh, Danny Goldstein, who's an international rider and trainer from Starwin Farm. You can see we've painted the skeleton on both sides of the horse. And Danny is wearing a skeleton suit there as well. So you can really begin to imagine how the horse's bones are moving underneath the skin as Danny's riding around the arena. But I think there's a few of you perhaps sitting in the audience thinking, well, how, does this, how is this going to help me with my horse? At the end of the day, the more we can understand about how our horses work, for example, posture. If we, 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 we can understand how a poor posture would perhaps affect ourselves, but what about the horse? We really need to understand what is good posture with the horse and how we can work the horse to maintain a good posture to perhaps prevent injuries occurring. Secondly, understanding range of movement at all of the joints. We want to get our horses jumping beautifully as we've seen already, this, already tonight. We really need to understand exactly where the movement occurs. What is possible to improve performance with our horses, we really need to understand how the, how the horse works, how the horse moves. Now, anatomy, biomechanics can seem like a dry or even difficult subject, but looking at the skeleton painted on the horse like this really brings it to life, makes it easy to understand and makes it fascinating. Tomorrow, I will be painting up another show jumper as well as two miniature ponies uh, on show. So if any of you would like to come and have a look, I'll be over there. Uh, having a stand on the other side of the warm-up arena so you can come and watch me painting join in if you would like to and then during the afternoon I'll be doing a series of mini talks about posture about how horses jump about how horses move understanding the legs helping to reduce the risk of injury uh, so that'll be happening all afternoon mini talks from one till about half past three in the afternoon also on Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be in this Wellington Club arena doing a variety of video-based talks. I've been painting and working with horses for, uh, well, since 2006 and have developed quite a bank of video. So we'll be able to use this video in these lectures, looking at dressage from the anatomical perspective and jumping as well. Just have a look now as Danny's jumping these bigger fences you can really begin to see how the horse is moving, how the horse is working. When the horse starts to jump a big fence, they really start to operate, really start to use themselves. And seeing the skeleton painted on the horse really helps to bring this to life. I hope you've enjoyed this mini demonstration and I hope that either tomorrow you can come over and see us or indeed next Wednesday. If you'd like to learn more about the courses over the next few days, or indeed about Horses Inside Out generally, please have a look at the website, horsesinsideout.com. Thank you very much.